Let's talk about Squarespace shipping and setting shipping rates for individual products. I have gotten the same question to my inbox back to back days this week. So I thought I'd just make a video here and explain my answer because it's obviously a very popular question and one that a lot of people are looking for. So if you search Squarespace shipping for on YouTube, you probably have found my video here that's actually on my personal channel. And the success of this video is really what inspired me to start my business channel. So if you have watched this video, you've already seen me talk about setting up shipping rates based on the weight of your product. And that makes a lot of you ask like, but I want to set up shipping rate for one specific product. And the short answer to your question is, that's not possible on Squarespace, I'm sorry. I didn't make Squarespace, that's just, that's how it is, okay? So the, the questions that I've gotten are, how do we actually assign shipping rates to our specific items? And the second question said, I have two separate products. When I try to make one shipping option available for one product, the other option is still available. How can I change and avoid this? And like I said, you can't, you can't avoid it. But I do have two solutions for you that I wanna share with you. The first one is really straightforward and pretty easy. And that is to include the shipping price in your product price. If you want, for example, this the second question here, he had like, now I can't remember what his products were. He had two different products. Product number one had a certain lower shipping rate. Product number two was a bundle of two different products and he wanted a higher rate. So just add like your $5 to your first product and your $10 to your second product. And then that way, if somebody buys two, they're already, the, the shipping rate is already built in. Does that make sense? So that's my solution for you for option one. And then just tell people shipping is included and don't add shipping rates to the back end of your store. The other option is shipping by weight, which again, I've already kind of explained here in this video on my other channel. But I want to show you again how to do it um, and go into more detail based on individual products and kind of show you how I do it um, so you can do it yourself. And what I've explained to these people via email is that it'll take a little bit of guessing um, and trial and error to get the numbers right. There's no exact math or exact numbers that I can give you to make it work right. And your products are going to be different weights and different uh, shipping rates than my products, but I'm going to use my Music Biz Bestie site here as an example. So I have a necklace, a shirt, and a sticker. So obviously the shirt is not going to be the same shipping rate as a sticker that's like, I have one right here. It's tiny on my laptop. It's a tiny little sticker. So how do I set a shipping rate for the sticker that's different than the shirt? Well, I actually have my Music Biz Bestie store set at like $5 shipping. Plus if you order like two items, it'll add $1 for each item you add. But I'm gonna kind of switch it over to the shipping by weight to show you how to kind of work around not being able to give your products individual shipping rates. So I'm gonna hover over this t-shirt and hit edit. And then I'm gonna scroll down and come to advanced shipping. And when you click into, you can see I've got all my sizes. So when I click into a size, I'm going to say the package weight for this shirt is a pound and a half. And then I'm gonna go back and do that for all of your sizes and so on. Uh, a lot of people like to do, like once you get into the two or three XL, um, some people, charge more for shipping on those. That is up to you. I'm just going to do one and a half to make this video simple. So now we have this set at a pound and a half. I'm going to click apply here and then I'm going to save. Okay, now I'm going to come over to my sticker and hit edit. And same thing. I'm going to scroll down here, come to advanced shipping and say the package weight for this is going to be point. 0.25 pounds. Now I'm just making these weights up. It doesn't have to be exact weights. We're really just adding in weights so that we can set shipping rates based on the weights. And then I'm going to come into my necklace. 
And the necklace does come in a nice little box. So it is a, it's not heavy, but it's heavier. Let's say, let's go with one pound here because it's still a small package. Okay, advanced shipping, one pound, done. Okay, so now all of my physical products, the rest are just digital downloads. All of my physical products have a weight set to them. So I need to move my face and I'm gonna come to shipping. I'm in the commerce tab and then I click shipping. So you can see right now I have just flat rates. Like I said, $5 per order plus $1 extra if they order another item for US, Canada and overseas. So I'm going to click add a shipping option and let's go with depending on weight this time. So let's call this again, US shipping. Now you can see I've got the weight by pounds and then the cost. So remember we set my sticker at 0.25 pounds. So if somebody orders a sticker, right now it's set from zero to one pound is $1. Let's set this zero to 0.5 pounds and we will set it at, let's just say $3. Okay, I set my necklace at one pound, right? So I'm going to click this plus button to add another option. So you can see uh, 0.51 pounds to one pound. We're going to say $5. And now um, 1.01 pounds to however many pounds, we're going to say eight. So although we're not saying like this shipping rate is specifically for my sticker. We kind of are, okay, because this is for the sticker, <laughs> the second one is for the necklace, and the third is for the t-shirt. What happens, and it can get tricky when people do order multiple items, but say someone ordered, um, let's see, two stickers. They're still gonna get this $3 cost here. If they order two necklaces, it'll be $8. So they're not exactly doubling the um the cost here but it'll be eight dollars and that'll cover the shipping um if you wanted to do let's say let's add one more actually we'll do so point one point oh one to two pounds for eight dollars that's going to cover one t-shirt and if they order two then it'll be ten so that's how you not necessarily set for individual products, but that's how I work around it to set for the individual products. So I hope this was helpful, gives you a couple ideas. And again, these are not exact numbers. You just kind of have to know what products you're offering and what rates you want to set and just make up your own numbers just like I did. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more Squarespace and online marketing tips, and I will see you in the next one.